Renee, whilst I know you were disappointed with the result on Saturday afternoon at the Emirates, you were certainly impressed more with the performance and the resilience shown. Yes, I, I was. I stood in the, in, 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 the, in the first half and we've worked very, very hard on, on our strategy and game plan. And we had sort of three scenarios in our head. And, and we actually had to go through all three of them. You know, sometimes you have to defend very, you know, uh, strongly and compact. At other times, we had to keep the ball away from them, which we did very well. Um, and at times, you need to try to hurt them. And that's the only thing we didn't do. And that's what I said to the, to the players at half-time. It says, you're standing there from the side. I couldn't have asked for anything more apart from. Because if we would have got our noses in front, mm. then yes, Arsenal would have still come out like they did in the second half. Um, but we would have had something to hold on to. As soon as you then go one game, one goal behind, which which happened really typically to something we warned the players for and worked on, stay with the runners. You know they play one two, stay with the runners. If you let just one go, you can't take things for granted, which we did. It's in the back of the net again. You have that mountain to climb. You know what I mean? Does it get to two 0 It becomes even harder, especially away. You know against a team of Arsenal. But overall, I thought. You know, it was a it was a really really good good performance. And the results at Sunderland and Hull aside, the performances are getting much better. You're getting the team to play in the style that you want them to play in. So for you, it's very optimistic about how the the next few games will pan out. Uh, it, it, absolutely, and it's, it's so important that I keep feeding back to the players realistically because if you just get them let them get to cope with the the sort of emotions of a result rather than listen lads okay let's put the result to one side these are the goals should have done this that but let's have a look at the positives about the performance let's have a look about the things that we really set out to do and which we did really well let's take that into the next game because that's the most important thing it's important that you take the positives the right things into the next game for the next performance which is a different team in this case obviously in the league it's Swansea and and we have to go there you know um with a very positive attitude to get something there because we all know that obviously Swansea is finding themselves in a position in the league where they don't win. Yeah, they, they don't expect themselves to be. That bottom half is still so, so tight. Ah. You can leapfrog any or uh, any of the teams around you. It, with it, one it, it is even teams that have won last weekend and they've dropped off, they, they, they got up two, three places. You know, in, in this league, you cannot just take anything for granted and wait because you lose one or two games after that up oh, and you tumble back down. So, Every game, you need to take it as it comes. Very hard points to 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 get, but the players are well aware that we need to get you know and uh, get get our hands on points really because if you do get a little bit of a an and and result, yeah, that can propel you just a little bit further. And how will the FA Cup on Sunday help with that propelling? I saw lots of different groups out on the training pitch. Yeah. Are you kind of preparing to utilise the entire squad because of that game yes. against Swansea coming so quickly? Yes, there, 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 there's no other way around it, uh, Sarah. I mean, it can only be done in England where they're talking about, you know, the two best competitions in, in, in the world with being the FA Cup and being the Premier League. But if you're forced, like us, to play two games in three days, then it's almost impossible um, that you have to manage it in a different way because otherwise some somewhere something's going to give. If it's not against Swansea, it might be at Southampton, you know what I mean? So you have to see that as a sequence of three games rather than two. So, But that's where you've got uh, the And just for well. clarity with that, because of the television game changing, you have to seek league and opposition club approval to move the next fixture and that didn't happen that's why we're, we're exactly imposed on us to play absolutely and then we could have we could have we could have offered with Swansea to say well listen can we play on a Wednesday they probably wouldn't have agreed because you know yeah it's, it's helping us rather than them um it wouldn't have been as bad if we could have played on on a Saturday because then you've got a bit more rest etc but that's where we're up to I'm very confident that the players that we do use also for Sheffield United they're well up for it and well prepared and hopefully we'll get the result we want. And let's talk about those two new signings at the back, Breda Hangerland and Dan Byrne. Um, will they, is it more games for both of them together? Is that a partnership you see working? How, how is that for you? Yeah, well, it is one that I put in against the uh, FA Cup game against Norwich at home because of what I saw in training and because of what I've seen from Dan in the previous game and on training. So I had no hesitation to do that. 
I think it was for everybody to see that it that it worked. You, you see a great balance of experience and 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 youthfulness next to each other, both very similar uh, in in some respect. Very very tall, obviously Bray the right footed and and Dan left footed. Um, but it was a big um, a big test for Dan in the Emirates away, but he came through it, you know, fantastically well. He's got a very sensible head on young Yeah, children. yeah, yeah. But he's, he's, his development uh, away for the loan spell against Birmingham has been fantastic. You know, he's, he's come back very mature. He was up for the challenge. Of, I spoke to him, you know, because you need to be aware of, you know, I want, when you do throw players in a big occasion like that, you need to make sure they can swim. Because mm. there's no point in letting them throw them in and, and drown because you might damage them for the foreseeable future. This wasn't the case. If they're good enough, they're old enough, he stepped up to the plate fantastically well and most important thing now is that Dan you know stays level-headed which I have no you know doubt about he's training well he's training hard and you have good defensive options as well you and you've have got good Philippe, defensive you have options. Aaron you, ha- you have Fernando who is still yeah. suffering with a niggle but you you've got a good core of players there absolutely now. absolutely I know that the cup is important to you the league it goes without saying how important it is there's a, a large number of traveling fans going up on Sunday for the game, the FA Cup would be a, a great competition for a club like Fulham to do well in. How important is a result on Sunday for you? I, th- I think I've said it before, but nothing positive comes out of losing the game. That's how I view it, and that's how I say it to the players. I want to win every game, you know, and and only good performances will get you. You know, it's only a, a, a few times that you look back to 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 games where you said, well, we didn't really play that well, but we won. You know, rather than listen. We performed really well, and that's why we won. That's what we want to we want to get to. And let there be no mistake, you know, that's exactly the same for the Sheffield United game. You know, um, I make sure that the team and the squad that I select is the right team to deal with a game, and and we want to come, we kind of come away because we want to get into the next round. And finally, in terms of transfers, presumably there is nothing to say until it's official, and therefore nothing's happening at the moment. Well, what is happening is it shows again that the whole transfer period is a, is a very difficult one, you know, and, and we have got, as you know, a few a few offers in here and there and we, we keep these plates spinning, as they say, and like I said, until really something is really, really materialises, then I'll be the first one to uh, to announce it. We wish you luck on Sunday. Thank you very much.